At six, the state agency that investigates and disciplines Georgia judges is in turmoil, and it is far from clear how this will all play out. Channel 2's investigative reporter Richard Belcher says the trouble surfaced when a powerful state lawmaker proposed doing away with the agency. Richard? Yeah, we're live at the uh, state capitol. The agency is the JQC, the Judicial Qualifications Commission, which over the last few years has been responsible for the removal or resignation or retirement of more than 60 Georgia judges. But now the JQC itself is in the crosshairs. The first public sign of the turmoil came when State Representative Wendell Willard of Sandy Springs proposed doing away with the current JQC, replacing it with another agency whose members would not include appointees from the state bar. Willard wouldn't go on camera but told the Daily Report newspaper there are problems that need to be corrected. He cited the commission's handling of the case against former DeKalb Superior Court Judge Cynthia Becker. She resigned in the face of charges that she'd mishandled part of the criminal case against former DeKalb School Superintendent Crawford Lewis. Later, Becker was indicted for lying to the JQC. We interviewed her lawyer, Brian Steele. The Honorable Judge Becker committed no crime. She has violated no law. Judge Becker later told Channel 2's Mark Winnie she felt like she'd been treated worse than a murderer. But the Becker case isn't the only source of controversy at the JQC. In November, the state Supreme Court heard a challenge to the JQC's rule that makes it very difficult for Georgia judges to close their courtrooms to the public. Afterwards, JQC Chairman Lester Tate suggested that two justices had misled the commission in a letter about the closed courtroom issue. Did they represent the court? They purported to in the letter, although other justices that we talked to indicated that they didn't know anything about the letter. So I, I don't know what the, what the truth of the matter is about that. All of the criminal charges against former Judge Becker were ultimately dropped. This appears to be as much as anything an internal dispute between the man you just saw, Chairman Lester Tate, and uh, Richard Hyde, who was a commission member and a longtime investigator on the commission before that. Hyde declined comment. Tate sent a statement saying that if approved, Representative Willard's change would just uh, give more power to politicians. He calls this a bad idea. This is a a story we'll continue to track live at the Capitol in downtown Atlanta, Richard Belcher, Channel 2 Action News.